Okay, everyone. So now what we're going to look at is applications, and we're going to be using factoring uh, to solve these problems. Uh, so we're continuing in 4.2. Uh, so let's get started with the first example. So we have the total of the large rectangle below is 24 meters squared. So I'm talking about this entire big rectangle. The area here is all that's 24 meters squared. Now what we need to do is we need to determine the value of x. Okay, so in order to do that, we need to take the information that we know uh, and try to figure out the information that we don't know. All right, so uh, we know from way back when that to find the area of a rectangle, we use the formula A equals length times width. Okay, so now just for argument's sake, we can call this the width and we can call this the length. So we have W equals, and we're just going to add up these components together. So we've got 2 plus x plus x, which simplifies to 2x plus 2. And for our length, which is this part right here, we can add together uh, the x and the 2. So we'll call it x plus 2. So now we have two parts. We have the length being x plus 2 and the width being 2x plus 2. All right, so now in terms of my x's, how do we find the area? Well, that's simple enough. We can just take our formula for area and instead of using L and W for my length and width, I can use my newly defined x plus 2 as my length and 2x plus 2 as my newly defined width. Now you can see that you've got a you've got two binomials and what we're going to do is we're going to multiply them together. And what's going to happen? So let's multiply these two together and see what we end up with. We get uh, 2x squared plus 2x plus 4x plus 4, and we can simplify that to 2x squared plus 6x plus 4. Okay, now we also have the information that the total area is 24 meters squared. So this right here, this is A. We have A written right here. So instead of the letter A, what we're going to do is we're going to replace that with the value of 24. So now we have 24 equals 2x squared plus 6x plus 4. All right. Uh, now you need to simplify it so that everything is over to one side of the equal sign. Uh, to do that, just subtract 24 on both sides. And we end up with a 0 here. And we can simplify that right side. So we get 0 equals 2x squared plus 6x minus 20. Okay, now we need to factor. So let's factor this and we end up with 2x minus 2x plus 5 and our solution tells us that x is going to be either equal to 2 or x is going to be equal to minus 5. Now I want you to take a second and look at these two numbers. So here it's saying that the length um, could either be, or the value of x could either be 2, and here it's saying the value of x could be negative 5. Now if you just take those numbers here and you look at putting a negative 5 in here, then you end up with negative 5 plus 2 equals minus 3 and uh, you end up with 2 minus 5 minus 5 and you see that we get dimensions that are negative values which does not make sense. So what you need to do is you need to 
get rid of that solution and you must indicate somehow that it is extraneous, which means that it's extra. It's not going to give us a good answer. So that word is extraneous. Okay. Uh, and then a good answer that we are going to use is x equals 2. Now, if I take that and I say, well, my width is 2x plus 2, plug in the value of 2, so w equals 4 plus 2, which is going to be 6. And for your length, plug in the value of 2 in our x plus 2. That's going to give us a length of 4. So now we have that our width is 6 and our length is 4. So the dimensions of our rectangle is 4 by 6, and 4 times 6 is equal to 24. So we know that this part here is satisfied. Okay, let's go to the next question here. Uh, example 2 says, the perimeter P of a rectangular concrete slab is 46 meters and its area A is 90 meters squared. Use the formula P equals 2L plus 2W and determine the dimensions of the slab. So uh, what we need here is we need some previous knowledge that the area of a rectangle can be found by length times width and the perimeter of a rectangle can be found by 2L plus 2W. Now we have that the area is 90 meters squared, so I've got 90 equals L times W, and I also know that my perimeter, which is 46 meters, can be found using the formula 2L plus 2W. Okay, so now my goal is to somehow combine the red and the blue formulas together, the red and the blue equations together, so that I can figure out what the value of L and W is. So what we're going to do is we're going to simplify this one right here so that we can uh, substitute something into this equation. So let's divide everything by 2 over here. So we've got 23 equals L plus W. And let's solve for L. So we'll solve this one for L. So L equals 23 minus W by subtracting w on both sides. And let me fix that w so it looks like a w. Okay, now uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this right here. You see how it's equal to l? We're gonna take this and we're gonna put it into that l. We're gonna leave the w as is. So now we're going to have 90 equals and substitute it in. So 23 minus w times, and I'm going to leave my w as w. Uh, so we're going to simplify at this point, and you're going to see that we will end up with a quadratic that we have to do something with. Any wild guesses what we're going to do with the quadratic? What section is this, folks? Factoring, that's right. Okay, so we got 23w minus w squared. And you can see here that uh, we've got a quadratic and move everything over to one side, make it equal to zero. So I'm going to move everything over to the left side so that I get a positive uh, coefficient for my w squared. Uh, so I've got, whoops, w squared minus 23w plus 90 equals 0. So now we have to factor. All right. So now when we factor this, you need to remember how to factor. So think of two numbers that multiply to 90 that are going to add up to negative 23. And that is minus 18 and minus 5. So here we get w 
I equals 18 or W equals 5. All right. Now, we're not done the question because what we need to do is we need to figure out the dimensions. So far, I have two options of uh, W. So what I need is length. So we know length has a formula of 23 minus W. So let's use this one here first to figure it out and see what we end up with. 23 minus 18. Well, gee, that equals 5. That's just our other answer. Okay, well, it's a rectangle. Doesn't matter which one's length or width, right? So now let's just say for argument's sake, W equals 18 and length equals 5. So we've got a rectangular slab that is 18 by 5. So it's something like this. So let's say W equals 18 and length equals 5. The area of this, if you multiply 18 and 5, ends up being 90. And if we add up all the sides, we end up with 46. So this is our rectangular slab. Okay, so in this question, uh, a student has made a critical error and uh, what your job is, is to try to figure out what you think the error is. Um, let's see, press pause, see if you can see what the error is and then uh, I will reveal, okay? So the critical error here is that this person, if you can see in this step right here, notice how you have a squared and how you have a squared there. Uh, notice what they did in the second line. They just assumed that they can scribble out and just get rid of it, get rid of the both squareds because it's on both sides of the equal sign and just continue to solve. This is bad because what happens is you basically lose an answer and then you get um, a wrong answer. You don't get all the solutions that are possible. So what I want you to do is try to figure out what the proper thing to do is. And let me give you a hint. You need to use order of operations. And what does order of operations say? Brackets, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, right? Okay. So the first thing you need to do is you need to expand the brackets and multiply through and figure out what the possible values for x is. So give that a try, hit pause, and uh, see what you end up with. All right, so here it is. Um, as I've indicated right over here, this is a bad thing to do. Uh, what you need to do is you need to expand uh, each side. So you see there's a squared there, so that means multiply it by itself. Multiply that through. On the left side, you end up with this. On the right side, you end up with that. Simplifying so that you have everything on one side of the equal sign, you end up with 12x squared plus 20x minus 8. And then we need to factor. So factor a 4 out first, and then factor the binomial you are left with. So then we end up with uh, two answers here. When you set each of these brackets to 0, set this equal to zero, set this equal to zero, and solve for x. We end up with x uh, has a value of one third and x has a value of negative two. So then what you would wanna do at this point is verify the solutions in the original equation to make sure everything is good to go. All right, so now let's have a look at the next question. And let's see if you can uh, determine what the lengths of these legs in this right triangle is. And I'm gonna give you a hint before I start this question. We know something about right triangles, something that you've been learning for many, many years so far. And that has to do with our wonderful friend Pythagoras. Okay, so uh, think about how you can apply Pythagoras to this. I want you to, uh, again, hit pause, give it a try, and then come back. All right, so here we have c squared equals a squared plus b squared, and I've labeled c, a, and b as our hypotenuse in our legs. And um, now let's 
put our 29 into the C, X into the A, and X plus 1 into the B and see what we end up with. So now, seeing this next step, you probably uh, can understand why I did the example right before, is because right here, I want you to make sure that when you are solving this, you actually expand properly. So we're going to end up with 841, which is 29 squared. So 841 equals x squared plus x squared plus 2x plus 1. And now this part right here is this x plus 1 all squared. Alright, so now the next thing to do is to uh, simplify, move everything over to one side of the equal sign, and so then we have an equation equal to 0. Which our result should be 0 equals 2x squared plus 2x minus 840. Now if you notice there is a common factor of 2 throughout so factor the 2 out first and then factor the remaining expression right here. Okay uh, so now when we factor that we end up with let's just keep our equation going x plus 21 and x minus 20 and so you want to set each bracket equal to 0, and our result ends up with x equals negative 21, uh, or x equals 20. Uh, now, I want you to make a decision. Look at the two numbers that are provided here that, are, that you ended up with in your solution. You got x equals negative 21, and you have x equals 20. Okay, so take this, put it in here, tell yourself, does that make sense? Can you have a length of negative? No. So what you need to do is we need to eliminate that as a solution and say that the value we're going to go with is x equals 20. All right, folks, so that's the end of those examples. Uh, I want you to make sure that you actually do try some homework questions and please make sure you're writing down uh, questions where you're not sure of uh, what's happening or you're struggling uh, so that we can answer your questions in class. All right, take care.